So, and the last thing I wanted to show you in this video is actually uh, how you can easily copy the buttons from Apple or Tesla, whatever. So any button you want to build, we can make this completely the same button in blocks. So let's go to Apple, maybe the new MacBook Pro. Okay, let's copy this button. So as you can see, it has the border, same similar style border and gradient color inside. So let's go to blocks and uh, maybe we can put this button here closer to our edge and let's add the custom class apple button okay so maybe we can make it uh, first of all put the same text select and we can make it uh, full width or maybe it's too big so let's make it four columns here and then make it full width like that so i think it is similar now and we can switch to half of our screen so we can see the button let's uh, make it bigger now let's make it 100 percent so we can make we can see the difference okay let's edit our class here and what we are going to do is first we are going to add these round corners here so but first let's change the font for our text here so let's just switch to letter to make it similar to what we have on the apple website and switch the color to completely white okay like that so it looks similar now let's go to a second tab and from here we will add the border so let's make it one pixel because it looks very thin and we will add the opacity and let's change the color so we can use this uh, tool to copy the color from the web page here so let's copy the hex, hex color and let's type it here because it, sometimes it doesn't apply directly so we have this color here and let's make the corners a little bit rounded so maybe not 10 but maybe 5 pixels okay looks similar and the next thing is uh, to change the background and to do that we can just change the background here but because apple uses the gradient here so we'll switch to gradient as well and here as you can see we have two colors black and white at the moment uh, but we will change uh, the black color to the one which is on the bottom of this button and we will change the other color the white to the light blue we have on top of this button here and uh, okay so don't forget to uh, touch this opacity slider because sometimes it's not applied right away without you doing that so now we have very similar button actually so as you can see uh, but well we need to add some of the hover effect here and as you can see when we hover the mouse on apple.com it becomes a little bit lighter so what we have to do uh, let's copy this uh, once again this color here and we'll go to hover state and change the color to this one for the light part and uh, we will change this color to the same color but uh, maybe we will make it a little bit darker so from the middle of the button even in horror we want to have the gradient effect so let's uh, do that and let's open uh, this button uh, actually let's preview it full size like that so it looks very similar to our apple.com button as you can see and let's actually what we're gonna do we are going to put this window separately like that and switch to apple.com and other window and have them side by side so let's zoom in on this button as well and as you can see we have almost an identical button as we have on apple.com so and we have done it in a couple of minutes and when you get used to it you can do this in a couple of seconds actually